what is going on guys so I forgot to film an intro out in the field so here it is today we fished uh, Lake Hapaka which is New Jersey's largest lake uh, this time of year I had pretty low expectations the middle of July so uh, water should be pretty warm I was thinking a lot of the fish would have moved offshore into the deeper cooler water so near shore I wasn't sure what to expect the first spot we tried uh, not too great picked up a couple fish there but had a pretty hard time uh, then we found this nice little cove with some shallower uh, warmer water and surprisingly uh, there were a bunch of fish there picked up some really nice size panfish so hope you guys like it stay tuned Starting out with the trusty trout magnet pink color. I'm just going to toss this thing around here. The water is actually moving pretty quickly here. A lot of wave action for a little lake like this, but we'll work it back slowly. And hopefully, there's some panfish type things that want to take a bite out of this thing. Got one. Yep, what do we got? Little rock bass. All right, first fish of the day, nice little rock bass. I literally came from right under this rock here to ambush my little trout magnet. So we'll get this guy back, and hoping he gets some more fish. Go. Fish two. No, ye little yellow perch. All right, second fish of the day, second species. Nice yellow perch. Another fish I don't get to catch too often. Love the orangey fin accents on these guys. Makes it look really, really nice. Yo, fish on. Got him. Let's get him before that duck gets him. Another yellow perch. All right, fish number three, yellow perch number two. So we're getting some bites. And unfortunately, they got to be this size or bigger to actually get this little hook in their mouth. A lot of these fish are just a little bit too small. All right, so I broke off my trout magnet, and this is what I'm gonna try. I've never tried this before. So it's a small 1 100th ounce jig head, smallest I've ever used. And then I just took a regular trout magnet, and I cut the, the front off a little bit, and I cut the back legs off a little bit. So essentially it's a mini magnet, just a homemade one. Maybe this will let me catch some of these smaller fish that were just too small for the trout magnet. There we go, yes, got him. Little pumpkin seed, tiny little guy. All right, so we got our tiny pumpkin seed. That little homemade mini magnet did work. I mean, this thing is tiny. It could probably fit a trap magnet in his mouth, but it would be hard. So fish number four, species number three, cute little pumpkin seed sunfish. All right, so this little mini magnet caught me one fish, but the number of bites I'm getting is also way down. The action on this thing doesn't look as good as on a regular trap magnet, which is understandable. So we're increasing the number of fish we catch, decreasing the number of bites we get. So I don't know what to do. I think we'll switch back maybe to something else, maybe find a new spot with some better shoreline axis.
Oh, there we go. Little guy. Little baby. Yeah, little largemouth. All right, another little guy. This is a little largemouth bass. So I doubt we're gonna get any big fish, but these little guys still a blast. There we go, fish on. Oh, another yellow perch. Yellow perch number three. So we moved into this little back cove area and it seems like their action here is a little bit better. There we go, fish on. This one feels a little bit better. Biggest one of the day, whatever it is. Looks like a nice bluegill. Shark. I doubt it's a shark, but it is a nice male bluegill. That's huge. All right, biggest fish of the day, beautiful northern strain bluegill. This might be the biggest northern strain bluegill I've ever caught. I think I've caught bigger copper noses down in Florida, but not a bigger northern strain. There we go, fish on. Now it's not the same fish. What is this? Oh no, it's a red breast. Red breast sunfish. All right, decent sized red breast sunfish. So our third sunfish species of the day. These guys are usually more of a uh, creek and river species, not so much a lake species. There's one, another red breast. That's a red breast or one of my favorite sunfish, mainly because teal is my favorite color and these guys usually have very nice teal accents here on the body and over there on the fin. So this is another beautifully colored red breast sunfish. There we go. Another one. What is this thing? What is this? Whoa. This is a very nicely colored one. This, this, I don't know what this is. It might be a hybrid. So this might be one of the more beautiful sunfish I've ever caught. Definitely part red breast, at least you could tell by the ear flap, but definitely not a full red breast. So I don't know what this is, is a hybrid of, but I'm 99% sure it's a hybrid sunfish of some kind. There we go. Another red breast, tons of red breasts in here. All right, a lot of nice little red breast sunfish in here. It's a species I don't get to catch too often. Love the teal accents on them. So I do not mind these guys one. That was quick. Didn't even start reeling yet. Lots of sunfish over here. We got ourselves another red breast. All right, not much more I can say about these guys, but they are all over this little cove and they are a beautiful little sunfish. There we go. Another nice one, or nicer. And another red breast.
There we go. Another nice one out of the pads. Uh, there we go. Another nice bluegill. All right, so another beautiful size northern strain bluegill. Love the actual bluegills on these guys. Our copper noses down in South Florida don't have that, but lots of sunfish in this little cove. So we'll keep fishing with these guys. A lot of fun on the ultralight, but don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay here. Oh, is this a largemouth? No, it's another yellow perch. These guys don't fight nearly as well as the sunfish do, but it is our fourth yellow perch of the day. There we go. Just gonna put a little bit of drag, whatever it is. Feels like another nice one. Oh yeah, nice bluegill. There's some jumbo bluegill over here today. All right, another jumbo bluegill. These guys put up a really nice fight. So tons of really, really nice sized sunfish over here in this back cove. We'll let this one go. I'll probably keep fishing, but I think this might be the end of the video unless I get something cool and uh, worthy of your viewing. So let's get this guy back. There we go. Little guy, I think. Oh, another little yellow perch. So last cast never means last cast. This guy's got a little bit of a, I don't know, some sort of a skin wound over there. But we'll let this guy go. I think this is gonna be our last fish of the day. All right, so that is gonna do it. After a rough start, pretty successful end, caught a bunch of really, really nice sunfish here at the end, that little cove. The cove really saved the day, which is surprising because it's middle of summer, so water's pretty warm. I'd expect all those fish to be more offshore in the deeper, cooler water, but what are you gonna do? So the trout magnet got basically everything today. That little mini magnet I tried, only got one little pumpkin seed, but the trout magnet produced everything else. So all things considered, a pretty good day on New Jersey's largest lake. So I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time. Like and subscribe.